Hello everybody, this is Juntas. Today we're taking a look at Grim Dawn and how to live the fastest possible way. This is going to be a short guide, there's not gonna be much downtime, so let's get to it. First of all, it's all about having an ability that does some sort of AoE. You know, RPGs are all about AoEs. So in this case, I'm using a warrior build with Force Wave. Force Wave has always been really good. You know, at an early level, you're already able to kind of, you know, play with it as you would in endgame. So, first of all, pick a build, and that build doesn't have to be, you know, the specific one that you're gonna end up with, but it has to have some sort of AoE ability that just makes it that much faster. So, highly recommended that. Now, let's move on with some actual stuff here. Obviously, we are going to be using Clarity, Potion of Clarity. You can buy it at the vendor that will pop out on the screen now. It can be a bit uh, hard to find the vendor, but Potion of Clarity. The problem is that it, you know, it, you log out, it expires, it doesn't, you know. Uh, but yeah, it's a pretty expensive potion. Therefore, you kind of want to do longer sessions, etc. Or you can, you know, just import it, cheat with it, whatever you want. You know, it's up to yourself how you want to play. Uh, but yeah, losing the duration when you log out is a bit annoying. Um, but yeah, Potion of Clarity is definitely the main thing. Um, so yeah, go for that one, and then of course, low card set. Everyone knows about this set. If you don't have an end game character that's already you know max level with good gear etc., low card can be pretty hard to solo, and you would probably need to kill it about at least 25 times to get the full set. Maybe it could be done in less than 10 kills if you're lucky, but who knows? Uh, every kill drops a piece of the set at least, so that's something. But the full set can pretty much carry you to level 60, 70. Uh, by then you might want to replace uh, the items just because they are pretty weak uh, stats at that level. But um, yeah, the important thing with Loka is besides the experience and blah 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 and all that shit, you don't have to worry about gear drops. And that just makes it so much faster. Because at some point you do not want to ever spend time uh, looking for gear. So in my case, the only thing I really want to worry about uh, in this build, where that if I would level it, would be weapons and maybe something like I don't know a medal or an amulet or something weird like that. Focus on weapons. That saves a lot of time. In this case, I got an Elkers of a Swarm Sword. It's a pretty good weapon. Everyone kind of knows about that. It also gives this uh, skill that's called Spectral Strike, which is a very high uh, damage ability and also gives some movement and whatnot. So basically, save time. Only focus on weapons. Don't bother uh, looking for like a you know glove upgrade or you know, a ring upgrade or whatever. That just takes too much time out of your leveling speed. Uh, just rush through the content looking for weapon upgrades mainly that's the you know that's the biggest key difference between you know everyone can go out and buy potion of clarity and have low set but you wanna uh, you know not, not waste time actually playing the game and then the last little gear thing here you can always kind of you know, mule around if you have some gear prepared or whatever but again that also takes time and yeah it's maybe not that needed but I could mention that Hermit's leg guards, uh, you know, a few other items with high movement speed are pretty good uh, for getting extra experience, extra movement speed, and so forth. Another thing could also be enchanting Lokar's boots with uh, movement speed. Uh, you know, there's lots of components, etc., that you could use. You could even have like muled over. Uh, you know other items to buff up your character etc it's kind of up to yourself how much you want to prepare uh, but mainly if you can find weapons to move those over that would definitely save a lot of time so in my case alchemist is a very good uh, sword to level with so i went with that one and that's pretty much it for the gear so next up is questing as most of you know out here at the quest log there's gonna be a little star on main quest the main quest also those who kind of you know gives the best experience bonuses and so forth. I think the biggest experience bonuses are like 50,000 uh, experience or something at a higher level. So that's pretty sweet to only go for the main quest. If you're able to do these side quests without having to go like a long way around and so forth, they can be very much worth it. But for the most part, they're not really. But that's about it. I don't think I need to mention much more. Again, local set is hard to get, and the specific uh, items that give uh, bonus experience can also be a bit annoying to get if you don't have a low-level character to farm them with, or didn't find them uh, doing your other leveling experiences. But yeah, 
it's so fast you know you get a level uh every like five minutes at the lower levels maybe it can be like half an hour at the higher levels uh you are just blazing through the levels with potion of clarity and so forth like you can see even without the potion of clarity i'm easily just getting experience from killing mobs because at some point at lower levels you might even not even want to do quest you just want to go around killing a lot like that's how fast it feels so yeah hope you enjoyed this one and as always thank you for watching and have a good one